You make your videos for a long time, think about catchy intros night after night, writing scenarios and editing your video to make a really cool video. You try really hard to attract more viewers to click on your video but can't get enough views. All that has no point if users don't click on your videos. To increase the interest in your video, you need to have the most appealing thumbnail. My name is Diana and I'm a creative director in YouTube Promotion. Want to get more views? Our video will help you see how to do this with the help of nicely edited covers for videos and previews. Watch this video till the end. We'll talk about the main rules when making a thumbnail that works. Without these simple rules, even if you master all the top applications and programs, you won't be able to make the right cover. Supa is the first program that we will talk about. This application is not difficult to navigate through and super easy. And it's free. So let's visit the web page. It is better to create an account right away. You can do it using your Google account if you have it. Click on Create to see different formats. At the end of the page, click on Video for YouTube. A new page with empty slides will appear. You might notice a runner and a specific number at the bottom. It means you can also create short videos for the video opening up to 40 seconds. But we'll talk about that later. Let's start with the background. On the right, you will see a window slide number 1. You will get a chance to change the background using a square that will be shown under the window. Let's click on it. In the background library, different images and live backgrounds will be available. You can also fill the background with one color or make a gradient. At the very top, you will see the available tools. Let's have a look at them. The button Add allows a user to insert images from the computer and edit them. Here you will also see several kinds of fonts, different geometric shapes, photos, divided into themes like nature, people, sports, and so on. Short videos and GIFs, which can be used as a freeze frame, stickers, and emojis. Pay attention that for more convenient searching of the necessary files, there is a search bar where you can introduce a keyword and find the right picture. Let's add one object in text, shape, and video. When adding a video, the application will offer you to choose a part of the video we'd like to see. By clicking on a picked object, we can change its size and make it tilted. In the right window, we can see what else we can do with it. Let's click on the text. You can move it as other object pretty easily just by dragging it. On the right window, you can put the text that you need for your cover. Skip the animation section. You need it only for creating a video. In the text style section, you can change the font. Actually, there is a lot of them, so you can try whatever you like. You can also choose the color of the text, its background, outline, and add a shadow if needed. Rotate the text by clicking on it, and then do that using two arrows at the bottom. Now click on the shape that we added before. Clearly, we can change its color and add a shadow. We can also change filters on pictures and videos that we inserted. If you want to place one object on top of another, click on the object and put it on the level above or in the foreground. In general, that's everything you need to make a cover. One major thing still remains – to make it all work in a beautiful and nicely edited image. We created an exceptional cover image, and now we need to save it. For that, in the upper right corner, click on the Download button and choose the highest image quality. Then click on Render and save it. Now a couple of words about the video format that is available here. In Supa, you can create an intro for YouTube, but you won't be able to download it for free. Instead, you will have a sign of Supa on it. Want to know how to create an intro? Tell us in the comment section under this video. And if you're not sure that you can make a cool cover in applications that are new for you, we suggest ordering a YouTube cover image on Viewsta. 
our designers will create a personalized cover for your channel with your own style. By analyzing your channel and listening to your wishes, they will make unique cover images that will attract more viewers to click on your video and watch it. We offer creating not only thumbnails, but also banners for your channel. I'll leave the link to find these services in the description. The most popular online application for editing is, of course, Canva. Canva is a very user-friendly editing program. There is a lot of ready-made templates available on the page. And this is one of the main features that differs Canva from Supa. By the way, if you want to create a video intro, here it will be possible to do. In the settings, you can choose the language you need for convenience. On the main page, put the word thumbnail in the search bar and choose to create a new design. The picture will appear with a needed size and ratio for YouTube. On the left, you will see various templates. If you liked one, feel free to click on it. All the objects that you will see on the template, like images and colors, can be changed. In the left column, you will see elements, uploads, text, styles, audio, background, and more additional features. The most interesting features to pay attention to here are the ability to add a freeze frame from a YouTube video. In this section, look for the YouTube icon and, by clicking on it, put the name of the video in the search. This way, you can use an interesting stop frame for your video background. Actually, Canva has similar features as Supa, but Canva offers more cool stuff. It has very cool fonts, great features for working with different objects, and lots of ready-made templates. Since the features of Supa and Canva are similar, we won't illustrate it one more time. Instead, let's redesign one of the ready-made templates as we want it. As we click on the item at the top of the screen, you will see all the editing features of that object. For example, filter overlaying, saturation, or choosing a color. As we click on the text, also, we will be able to change the font style, its color, and add effects. If you want to undo your last editing action, use the back arrow at the top of the screen. Note that very often in templates a sign of the program will appear. For example, here. You can't remove it for free, but you can remove this item that contains the sign of Canva and insert another, similar. Just go to the Elements section and search for the relevant word you need. Then we download our design via Share button and then download it. Vista Create. You can also try Vista Create, you might know it as Crello in the past. It is another free design platform. You won't like the templates on Vista more. They are more minimalistic. So, if this style corresponds with your channels, then we highly advise you to try and create covers in Vista. Users added chosen templates and add new elements the same way they did on Canva. It is very easy to change objects' position and their color. If the number of images that Vista offers is not enough for you, use the websites with free stock images like Pixabay and Pixels. Here you will find thousands of photos that can be downloaded for free. And from the past video, we remember how copyright is important. Figma. There's another platform that can come in handy, Figma. This application is for advanced users. However, at the same time, there is lots of video lessons on how to use it with free access. The registration can be done also via Google Mail. When we enter our account, let's click on the New Design File button. In the upper left corner, press the hash and create a rectangle. Then, on the right, we set the necessary parameters – width and height. Great! Now let's add an image. For that, open the necessary folder and just drag the image and place it on our file the way you like it. You will be able to edit the image by double-clicking on it. When you do that, the available tools will be shown. Here you can change the exposure, contrast, shadows and other parameters. Let's make a background. In the top row, let's pick a rectangle and click on it and pick Send to Back button so that all other objects will be on top of this background. Then press on its corners to make it bigger. In the right column, in the Fill section, let's change its color by pressing the color square. 
you will see that by default solid filling is chosen. Click on it to choose different color transitions. For example, to make a gradient. If you did something wrong with the file, you can undo the previous actions by pressing Ctrl and Z. Now let's add the text. It is possible to do that by pressing the letter T on the top row. You can also choose text and apply other settings, all in the right column. If you want to add some lines, arrows or something else, use the pen tool at the top line. If you have a lot of different objects that you want to add to your file, clearly they will overlay each other. To put each of them to the right location, you will get a chance to move necessary objects in the left column. The objects that are in the column above will be at the front and those that are below will be under other items in your file. For example, you can put the text behind the image. And also you can overlay one picture on top of another one. To save our new image, pick frame number 1. Choose to save the entire image of frame 1. And then on the button of the right column, choose Export. We'll see the preview of our image one more time and if we like it, we click on Export frame 1. Everything will be saved on your computer. We've got a bonus for you. It's a live hack on how to delete the background of your image. You can do that on Pixelr. You may want to insert your personal photo on the cover and Pixelr will definitely help you to cut you out of an image to make a background transparent. Afterwards, you can put your pic on the cover. Photos will be automatically saved in a native PNG format and can be used in other editors. Any of the programs we've told you about can be very helpful in creating nicely edited previews. But it is not over yet. If you want your YouTube covers to actually work, consider following these 9 cool tips. YouTube thumbnail resolution is HD format. The widescreen aspect ratio is 16 to 9. Stick to the maximum file size, which is 2 MB. You can find this data when you open the detailed information of any image. You will need this data when editing in professional design programs. Remember, if you need to crop or compress your image, there are a lot of free applications that will help you to do that. Make sure that after editing and doing all the changes, the quality is still good. Image formats for YouTube previews are GPG and PNG. Use only large text and details. Your cover image is displayed in small size until the user clicks on it especially while using their cell phones. All elements should be visible. Intrigue viewers. A thumbnail should spark the interest to watch the video. For example, put a funny stop frame from your video on the cover or something that can be understood right away, so users would like to watch a video to figure that out. Your cover should make a statement. To do this, you can add interesting text, ask a question that will, by the way, intrigue your audience, Detailed and specified information also works, like putting a year or any kind of statistics. For example, top 3 programs for editing in 2022. A small tip, if you use images that evoke or express emotions, it will only do you good. A cover image should catch attention, but its content should not be confusing. I mean, if you make a clickbait out of your cover image that has nothing to do with content of the video, YouTube algorithms won't notice your video and, most importantly, your viewers will not like that. Before creating a thumbnail, look for a video on YouTube that has a similar title. Scan through them and see what kind of cover images were used by other creators. Try to make your thumbnail unique and different from others. It always draws attention. Make sure that your image do not violate any YouTube policies and are relevant to your audience age group. For that, use a free app from Google Vision AI. Upload the image you want to use as cover and click on Save Search. The program will show if your image has elements that shouldn't appear on a cover. As you know, the colors of the YouTube interface are red, black and white. So not to blend in with the web page colors, experts recommend to use blue color, orange, green and yellow. Using these colors in cover images, especially as a background color, will help your video to stand out. Knowing the secrets and major tips on how to make 
a professionally edited thumbnail and how to use editing programs, you can make exceptional cover image from now on. Views that was with you today. We talk about everything that can be useful and helpful for YouTube creators to develop their channel and make them more visible on the platform. Stay tuned to our next videos. For now, we thank you for watching and we'll see you very soon. Hasta la vista!